Hi Scorpio, welcome to the Witching Hour. My name is Michelle and I'm a witch. This is a bonus romantic love reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, etc. For the month of January. Possibly it would have begun in December. Uh, and this is a bonus reading for you. You guys get to go first this month because of um, the fact that I was unable to do Scorpio's reading for the month of December for Romantic Love. So I'm giving you a bonus round here. Just finished your first love relationship, security and life path reading, but I'm giving you a bonus love one right off the bat. My sincerest apologies for having to drop you off at the end there, but due to a personal family crisis that swallowed up the month of December, I was unable to finish the readings. So here we go. I'm going to start. These cards are ready. I am using the Connolly Tarot, Vintage Connolly Tarot deck. Oh, your first card. What this person is like, your next major relationship or the next major aspect of a current relationship that you're already in is big, big, big time love. This is divine love. This is uh, the per your partner or person in question who's coming in has just had a very major life-changing experience connected to the divine for the better. That is my distinct and clear, strong Im impression. It's very clear, clearly life-changing for this person. True love. This person is very loving, very spiritual. But becoming very clear is the very strong impression I'm getting. They, they, they're... Minds and spirits and hearts have become very clear very recently and has opened them up to a whole new way and a whole new ability to love themselves and others, which is a, a big, important factor in connecting with this person. So, at the bottom of the deck and the underlying energy, there is the Hierophant. So this could be someone you are currently married to or someone who you perceive to be marriage material now so what they're like is is i feel that they've been currently transformed by spirit had a spiritual awakening have received spiritual clarity to to some very large degree very large degree um i feel that how you'll meet is is what's signified here is the page of cups and the impression that i'm getting is like online dating or at a valentine's day party um, it's some kind of online communication having to do with Valentine's Day or matching, meeting up, that type of connection. Someone you um, are predisposed to is the word I'm getting. That's how you meet. You're predisposed to them, so you're matched up, either with a matchmaker uh, in real life, in person, or online. So I'm, I am feeling that. Um, your first impression of this person is, you complete me. You've got the world card. It's almost as if this person is this significator of a whole new world for you. It's like a beginning of a new life. You feel that they feel this way about you as well. This is a mutual feeling. Um, you feel that... They are complete. They are self-sufficient. They can take care of themselves, is the words I'm getting. Um, how they affect you. This is so good, Scorpio. You're getting all good stuff. How they affect you is they give you hope for the future. They make you feel as though your dreams are coming true. There's the bluebird of happiness up here. And... They help solidify your plans for the future. It's very emotional. Very emotional. They give you hope and strength. The nature of this relationship is life-changing. It causes some upset. It goes against convention is what I'm hearing. It's unconventional. It goes, and not in a negative way, but it really shakes things up. For some of you... You are currently in a relationship that's ending and you're meeting a new person that kind of, whoop, it just, it, it, 
it, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. That is the nature of, that is the core essence of this relationship coming in. Mm-hmm. It's a game changer. The crucible for the relationship, what will make or break you, is about honesty. There needs to be emotional clarity and honesty about what the connection is between the two of you. I'm hearing a lot of like past, things in the past need to come up to the surface um, to make sure you get a good clear past history on this person before you move forward. That if this person does not voluntarily offer you disclosure about their past, um, that those would be red flags and that they can cause suspicion or doubt or self-doubt is what I'm getting. For some of you, yes, this is someone you're meeting while you're already in another relationship and it really, oh, it really shakes things up a bit. And you might be feeling, well, because the circumstances were wrong in which we met, that it means that this person might not have integrity. And what I'm getting is the opposite feeling. It's that they are a good person, but the circumstances are not good. So that might throw kind of a negative feeling upon the relationship itself. It might cause you to have self-doubt, but it's uh, divinely appointed. It affects you in a divine way, but it also is divinely appointed. This was the universe's way of helping you and assisting you end your current or recently past uh, toxic relationship is what I'm feeling. Tumultuous relationship you were in. And this is the universe's way of helping you make that change that you didn't feel you could make on your own. So, and it kind of gets you to think, is this a rebound relationship? And it's like, well, just wait and see and let it play out is what the universe is saying. Because the overall outcome is the page of swords. This was to bring clarity and truth into your life where you may not have been willing to accept the truth about your uh, recently past current breakup relationship. It brought the truth in. This new relationship brought in the truth for you, helped you be more honest with yourself. So not all of that information is always pleasant to hear, but it's always good to know. And it's helping you to be honest with yourself. It's, for, it's because it's for the highest good of all. And that's what this is. This is convention. This is for the highest good of all. The nature of the relationship goes against convention, but it is still for the highest good of all. So it might be shake up tumultuous circumstances upon which the relationship is founded. But if you are honest with yourself and you accept the truth that the universe is delivering you and you don't tell yourself stories about the past or that um, you put false integrity upon something that does hasn't earned it, such as your past relationship, then it will clear your mind about the nature of the, the true nature of the current relationship coming in that has kind of broken things up. So in other words, um, and it may apply to the fact that, um, sure, on the opposite end of things, but I don't feel that um, you're telling yourself that it's good when it really isn't. I feel that that pertains more to the past relationship and the new one being so much better and being so earth shattering for you um, it kind of brings you the truth about how much you've been missing out on all this time. And you realize it's like I'm not going to deprive myself anymore. It was hard to, that was a hard pill to swallow. But this new relationship or this new encounter with this different person who is really more what I want has opened my eyes to that fact. How much I've been depriving myself of true happiness. How much I've been kidding myself about, you know, I've been settling. I've been settling. And that's the truth that comes into the relationship right now. Um, for those of you in a current relationship, that's the the new shakeup is, is kind of helping you wake up to the fact that you weren't being quite open and candid about your feelings to your current partner who you want to be with. But it's like there were a lot of improvements that could have been made that I haven't been quite honest about. And I really want to tackle that right now. I really, really do. And I don't want any more negativity or feeling like I'm settling within this relationship. So for both current and, and future, that's that's a, quite a strong element of being honest with yourself, being candid with yourself about how you truly feel about the relationship and being candid with the other person one-on-one, -on -one, uh, face-to-face conversation, FaceTime, FaceTime <laughs> conversation. And for those of you uh, who are having kind of a behind-the-scenes type of 
um, virtual relationship with someone online. For some of you, it's a long distance thing where you have connected with someone online um, and meeting them for the first time and you want FaceTime first before you meet them in person. Some of you are having kind of a little bit of a clandestine affair with someone and you're, you're video chatting with them and you're having to be honest with the fact that this is making you feel bad and you want to have more of a FaceTime with your current partner and tell them the truth. You want to come clean and say, these are the issues I'm dealing with. I feel like I want to go um, outside of this relationship. I've started to, and you're going to be honest with them and you want to be honest with them and you should be. But it's about telling the truth and you're like, now I want to tell the truth face to face instead of trying to find a band-aid solution for my feelings. I just want to be honest. So that's for those of you who are maybe doing some, a little something on the side and you know you shouldn't be. It's making you feel bad. It's bringing to light the real true changes you really want to make in this relationship that you're currently in. That you kind of want to cut ties or you want to. And for some of you... Um, yeah, you just want to cut ties, but you want to do it the right way. And so you're kind of standing your ground now. You're you're kind of um, pooling and resort, um, gathering up your integrity and standing uh, firm ground. It's like even though I, you're telling your partner, even though I made a mistake of reaching outside, what I really want to say is this. And you tell them the truth about how you feel and you're able to move on. And it doesn't make you feel that great in the end. However... <laughs> You know you would rather feel sorry now with this true love in the future. You're making room for the true love. And that's what those of you in a current good relationship are doing. Um, while there may be weeping or sorrow or tears or sad feelings about the truth that you're telling to your partner, it's like this is what you want. And you know that this is what you're aiming for is for the true love in the relationship and you know it's there you feel it's there but you need to see it start happening and you needed to confront these issues first and uh, your temptation might be to cry over spilled milk and play the victim or play the blame game but you're not going to do that because you're going to stand in your truth and your integrity with the seven of wands because the overall outcome is going to be about the truth telling and that's what's going to make you feel better it's going to help you focus more on the higher ground of the true love in the relationship. And you will be successful in that. Or you may come face to face with the choice that um, the integrity that you know should be there is not. And the integrity of the true love and the strength of it isn't there. And you're going to make a true decision uh, with integrity to move forward from the relationship. But for some of you, for the people who... Um, are meeting someone new and this shakes up your world and it's to help you see the truth for yourself about what you've been missing out on all this time is you you know that this sad part of your life is ending that has come to a close and that's what this new person is bringing in for you with the world they've they're helping you close that old cycle whether you were alone or in a relationship that was no longer happy and satisfying this new person is helping you put closure to that and start focusing on what true love should really feel like. And they might only give you a taste of it. You could be with them long term or short term. It doesn't matter. But what they do is they give you a taste of what true love really feels like. And it's a game changer for you. And it makes you turn things around kind of like a 180. So if you are familiar, regardless of your relationship status, Take the elements of this reading that really resonated and rang true for you and leave what does not. Leave what does not. Use your own discernment. Spirit will be giving it to you, I'm feeling. To clarify for this true love reading, I'm going to draw one Witch's Wisdom Oracle card. These are by Barbara Michael John Free and Flavia Kate Peters. They are illustrated by Richard Crooks. And these are four witches. This is for people who are, know that they are manifesting love and manifesting better love into their lives. And this is all for all enlightened Scorpios who are coming into their integrity. The card that has come out is Banishment. The card of the Hex, Energy of Banishment. This is a clearing out. And this goes in line with your other reading that I just did. You're clearing out a lot of bad energy. 
you're in the, um, the Watchtower of the North in the energy of winter and the direction, the direction of north, the season of winter, the, the time of midnight, the time of changes, the time of death and transformation and rebirth. So while sorrow may endure for a night, joy cometh in the morning. That's an old uh, scriptural phrase, but uh, from either the Psalms or the Proverbs or whatever. But that saying is what has been coming to my mind. While you may have to clean your closets in the love department, and, and banish negative energy and truth be told and clear out your own emotional closets and stuff. It's all for the good. All for the good because it's giving you a fresh new beginning. And I sense that you want this and you wanted to start the year with this and you're going to go ahead and do it because you know the you'll reap the, the rewards for it. And for those of you already in a relationship, you might be having this. That's the purpose of this new one coming in is to shake up and break up all the old negative energy that you had a hard time letting go of. Now this new person is being brought to you by the universe to help you do just that. But it's all about integrity. It's all about telling yourself the truth and standing your ground about what you want and not being persuaded. It's about standing in your truth, standing in what you want, going for your dreams with the relationship and telling yourself the truth about it and standing in your truth about it. Having integrity in your truth about it for the highest good of all. You feel it. Your integrity is being upgraded is what it is. And underneath the Hierophant is the sun. So this is all about the divine masculine. It's about healing. It's about truth, illumination, evolution of your spirit, enlightenment. This is all about cleansing and clearing out the old energy. And you are, in fact, doing it, especially those of you who are very spiritually aware that, that you've manifested this and called upon the universe to help you bring about this transition, which may bring mixed feelings, but in the end, it's going to oh, it definitely be positive for you and start a whole new way of life, a whole new path of love, a whole new way of loving, a whole new way of walking the path of true love with uh, integrity uh, in within the relationship dynamic. So it feels very strong and pure to me, Scorpio. Those are the two most uh, strongest energies that I'm feeling for your reading and for your love and your heart, strong and pure. And it will be moving. It will be going somewhere good that you want it to go to. So I hope that helped you. I hope that you will join me and check out my video library if you would like to make a donation to this channel or book a personal reading through my Etsy shop, The Mystic Smuggler. The links are in the drop down box below. So until we meet again, stay tuned. And from, remember from my soul to yours, I send you much, much love and brightest blessings. Take care. Bye-bye.